Hello, Javier. Morning. Morning. So, what now? We need to start learning from our mistakes. I know. Morning. You okay? Yes. Just thinking you about You goddamn me. degenerate. Now's not the time, Arthur. He was always living on borrowed time. Get up, now! <laughs> I'm sleeping, Arthur. Easy, killer. That's rich from you. I ain't trying to rile you. Believe me. Hi, Dom. Hello, baby. Long time, boy. Come on. I know you got some money. Get yourself some mm. real food, huh? Listen, you have to take this. Mm, that's real kind. I lost my money playing poker. <sighs> I know where a good game is. Above the gunsmith. Uh, 
real. Mm. Mm. Hush, cool. hush. Above the gunsmith, huh? Oh, keep that in mind. The facts are simple. Life is war. And the war is between races. If you want to die, then go ahead. But I want my race, the master race, to live forever. And I'm prepared to prove my mastery by force, if necessary. It's kill or be killed out there in nature. Always has been. Trees kill each other. Flowers kill each other. Even sheep kill each other. So let's stop pretending. It's time we was more like sheep. It's time to kill. Oh, no. <clears throat> Look what's happened to this world. Come on, folks. Get your new Hanover Gazette today. For the love of God. There you are. Come on. Keep walking. You're late. A couple of days in this place, you turned into some clock-watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave. Forever. We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear, be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific, an untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. <sighs> How are we gonna get enough money for the passage of a whole boat, a captain's discretion, and land enough to keep us all? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then, well, we're done. Now, we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on! Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you all will. Now remember, we just want money. Don't make us kill you. Mr. M, leave these fine folks of their valuables. Mr. S, check that room back there. I got this one dying. That's your choice. Not all your money now. Don't make me ask twice. Okay. okay. Let my Fine, it's yours. Inside. I said, open the gate and let have my acquaintance. Hand over all your money yes. now. Of course. Quick. This is it. Of nothing else. Do you want me to frisk him? Or you got Now, me? I'm going to need everything <laughs> you've got. There's nothing much here. Of course, what? Of course, there's just nothing take it. really here. You're sure? Yes. Then get out here and get ready for company. All of you! Behave! We don't want to hurt any. Mr. M, check the safe. Sure. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it! There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn! We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Come on now! We got you surrounded! That greasy son now. of a bitch! He set us up! You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something. The trolley. The trolley! Follow me, gentlemen! 
Get us out of here. Whew. I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time. It's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. Well, we each got... $15. Oh, <laughs> and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Hosea agrees. Even after that? Uh, especially after that! Uh, I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on, I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, you can't win them all.
Easy boy. Yeah. You got a problem? What do you do? You know what? I'm feeling good today. Good for you. Anyway, sorry, you don't need to know this. À la prochaine. Hello, fellas. I owe you one. You do the same? How'd you find me? Ain't too many fellas in this town fitting your description. Now go before someone sees you. Don't you have anything else to do? Everyone isn't as bone idle as you, huh? Yeah, I think it's important. I trust everything is well? Ah, there you are, dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? 
Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahasi riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Hello. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes. My friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. You can see the aristocrat in his profile. The heavy brow from all the inbreeding. Might I suggest the fine three-piece town suit, sir? Perfect for the occasion, I'd say. A very good choice, sir. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on! My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Make him look like a prince, sir. some transportation for us. <clears throat> George, to the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad to Prince. Uh, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach? We can't whinny up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Buff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't happening. So, who's a mark? Is he all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery of all things. 
likes to play fast and always keeps some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be weighed. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. They'll search us when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Howdy. Come on, gentlemen. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now where can I get a cocktail? Looks like there's still an open seat, sir. Feel free to join a game, sir. Are you playing tonight, sir? Are you joining us? Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Hey. Desmond Blythe. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. Hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fared? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but... Yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry, boys. I'm taking it all. We'll see about that. To hell with it. This is probably a bad idea. But I'll raise you. Here we go, then. Well, Hello, my ladies. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. 
So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting into hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Sorry to do this to you, but I have no choice. All in. All in. Interesting. Pair of cowgirls. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning... Well, I heard... Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play. As you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. Let's not waste any more time here. All in. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pair kings. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh-oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace-high diamond flush. God damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please, cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. <clears throat> Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? Shit, let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe, let's get out of here. Can't believe that asshole had another gun. The view in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand, plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here, come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Who 
Was that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> In the time of my life. You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. Ah, <laughs> uh, look, there's your friend. No, sir, my friend is oh, not a no good cheat, and I beg you to take How back the insinuation. There he is. Now, oh, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. <laughs> Come on, Roger. We gotta get out of here. You're gonna die here. Where do you think you're going? Moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch, uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss, uh, a Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. Hello. Morning, dear. 